Well, on the fin today, we've got a very, very special guest. That's Colonel Al Warden, the Apollo 15 astronaut. Now, I understand, Al, that this isn't your first trip to Farnborough. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm very familiar with Farnborough, but I'm familiar with the Farnborough of old when there were no commercial structures here. All we had were a bunch of black sheds. We had a lot of restoration, a lot of testing, a lot of development work going on. And the Empire Test Pilot School was here along with the, uh, I think there was the uh, uh, Aviation Health Department was, uh, they, they had a big structure here too. So okay. So what brings you to Farnborough this time? Well, I come to Farnborough this time uh, as a partner with Coleman Worldwide. Coleman, uh, t uh, Tom Coleman is an old Air Force pilot also, like I am. Uh, he provides the pavilion for U.S. companies to display their wares at international trade shows like Farnborough and Paris and Dubai and all the rest of them. At the same time, Tom has made it possible for me to get out into the countryside and talk to young people uh, in schools. Uh, because my primary interest is in promoting science, technology, engineering, and math. So we do a lot of that while I'm here, too. So you've been promoting STEM education. How do you go about doing that with youngsters? How do you inspire them? Well, it, it depends on the age group. Um, if they're really, really young, you talk in very general terms about what it's like to go to the moon and come back, and you explain that you... Uh, we're not going to be able to do that in the future unless we have engineers and mathematicians and scientists that can put the programs together. Uh, the older students uh, are, are, are probably more uh, attuned to the need for engineers and scientists in the future. Both the Western, both Western Europe and the U.S. Um, are not graduating the numbers of engineers that we need uh, to carry on a progressive and aggressive space program. So my interest in all that is getting these young kids interested in studying the hard sciences, the math and the physics and the, that kind of thing. Uh, they are going to put them in a position where they can design the spaceships we're going to need in the future. Okay, and also you made a very, very special uh, presentation yesterday. Yes, that was, uh, that was kind of fun. We gave, uh, because of this year being so special to the RAF as the 100th year anniversary, uh, we don't. We we presented a flag and some other things uh, to the chief of staff. Uh, it's an American flag that was carried on my flight to the moon back in 1971, which was 47 years ago. Uh, the RAF is 100 years old, and we uh, feel very strongly the re relationship between the U.S. And, and and Great Britain. And I particularly uh, feel very strong association with the RAF because I was part of it for a while uh, that I thought that was a very special thing and I was so happy to be able to do that. Al Warden, thank you very much. It is absolutely my pleasure. Uh, I wish everybody would come to Farnborough and watch the air show. Uh, this is a fantastic show to watch and it's Farnborough, my hometown. Come visit. <laughs>